Ooh, cat is in here. All the people stop and stare. Ooh, it's Monday at the Vietnamese store, and they've been racking up that cat. Ooh, well, there's nothing like a rack of dried cat to brighten up your day. Have a wonderful Christmas season with the smell of cat in the air. Ooh, cat is in the air! <laughs> Afternoon everybody! <laughs> and welcome to Chooching on a uh, Monday afternoon, the uh, Dried Cat Edition. And boy, I tell you, I thought the uh, I thought the cold weather, and I'll tell you guys, it's been brutal cold. I thought the cold weather would kind of uh, dampen the smell of the uh, drying cat here. Whew, you can smell it all over the uh, all over the hood today. I guess mainly because they got this exhaust fan out here, a 1920s compressor fan. Blowing that stink all the all over the place, and you know what, guys? For the first time ever, we are on a chooch, recording in 4K today with stereo. So I hope you're enjoying it. I don't know what it'll uh, be like. It's almost impossible to uh, process it, but I will tell you, it is. Uh, whew, it is uh, something interesting to try new stuff, and that's what we always do here on the O'Kelly channel. And I figure, as long as you got a, uh, as long as you got a GoPro that can do uh, 4K, why in the hell not uh, give it a shot? Slap the, uh, slap the stereo microphone on and give it a whirl. Anyway, guys, I don't want to sound like the biggest. Uh, Pussy in the beginning in the uh, face of the earth, but I'll tell you the cold wave has just brought people down uh, Here you got everybody's used to sleeping outside all the uh, all the uh, bums and the uh, You know the uh, bottle collectors and can collectors and the people that don't want to be you know, sleeping in regular shelters and acting, they've been freezing their noodles off. And I got up this morning, it was like 27 degrees, back to work, pitch black outside. And uh, man, it was really miserable this morning. It's kind of windy right now, blowing my, uh, blowing my hair all over the place. But, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to be as eager as you are to see a 4k upload of course the schools are still out and they won't be back until uh, back into session until next week so we don't have a lot of traffic and believe it or not a lot of people are still off uh, this week but damn it was uh, it was cold today really cold so you know I know a lot of you oh my god you know it's minus 40 degrees here Rosie and California, you're spoiled. You're such a little crybaby. I know that. I mean, I grew up in that. I mean, we had some cold days when I was growing up in Baltimore. But, man, if you're not used to it, and that uh, even a uh, you know, mid 20s will feel like uh, feel like crazy ass when you're uh, when you're not sort of used to it. Uh, come on, you're not going to pee on the building. Really? Anyway, what a lovely, uh, what a lovely Christmas we uh, we had. The Missy and I, and all the presents and all the wonderful cards. And then the cold slap of reality hit. Whoop de doo! Back to work today. And now we got the additional complication, guys and gals. People always say, oh, you're always saying, hey, boys, guess what, boys, hey, guys, yeah, guys and gals, guess what, guys and gals, one of our local medical clinics burned down over the holiday, that's right, the son of a bitch just burnt up, they had a, uh, they had a hell 
of a fire and all their paper records and all their office space and everything just went up in flames. You can Google it, Russian River Health Center, and that's 3,500 Medi-Cal patients. It had no place to go. And guess what? They're calling all over and scrambling. It's like, you know, life isn't tough enough. Now we got everybody's got to take on a proportional load of these patients until they get some kind of accommodation worked out. So that was kind of a drag. You know it's nice over here guys since the last time we came. It looks like maybe they've uh, paved that path over there. How cool was that? They say in uh, 2016 that the uh, trains are starting to run and look at that guys. Remember we used to chooch down the uh, gravel in the bad old days. Man that used to suck. I can't believe. Can you guys believe 2015 is almost coming to an end? And as I've said, some people have had a bad 2015. For us, it was a good year, you know, with Jen's health holding up and everything else. And I can't really, uh, can't really complain at all. Man, this is like heaven <laughs> walking on this thing. And I think this completes the bike trail. Here. And I can tell you they've been testing the trains a little bit over the last month. And it's not going to be too much longer. I think they're going to have uh, eight trains daily for starting. And this connects down to San Francisco or just on the just on the uh, this side of the Golden Gate Bridge. And then I think a bus takes you over. But it's going to save a lot of time. And then they're going to be running freight up and down here too. Well, kind of luckily. I mean, it's nice unless you happen to live right up next to it. And uh, it won't be bad at first unless the uh, demand really picks up. And we'll we'll probably hear the toot toot from our place, but we won't actually hear <coughs> we won't actually uh, hear the train rolling up and down the uh, up and down the track. So. Hope all of you had a great uh, holiday. And man, <laughs> I wonder if a wonder if a sewer pipe broke for the uh, high school today. Good lord! I just is it cat? Is it dried cat season, or is that skunk they're racking up there on the? I don't know. But anyway, a fun fun little time uh, chooching today. I didn't think I would. Uh, Chooch today, but the dogs were kind of going stir crazy at home, and they're kind of not real happy right now because a lot of their vegetation and favorite pea spots have been taken away here. So they're kind of like, Where are we going to drop this bomb? and all this kind of stuff. You know, looking over here, I don't know what the story is on this. They, they talked about they're ready to start developing that again. And, 2008 they went crazy during the big boom and got all that stuff in with electrical sewer and all that crap and then, uh, when finances and stuff crashed that was the end of it but they were supposed to thank you Fuck. they were supposed to uh, get started again in that uh, last year but I haven't seen anything down there, it's going to be right near the uh, railroad track too, so that's going to be a little, uh, a little bit problematic. Uh, some people have been enjoying some of the uh, vintage stereo stuff and the rebuilding and projects, and more of that stuff will be coming. I'll tell you the truth, guys. We were going to go uh, metal detecting on uh, yesterday. But it was so cold, it was uh, just incredible out, and it was cloudy. There was no way we were going out this outside. You can see how glorious it looks in that direction with the uh, sun, and that really feels good on my face. But you look behind me, and it looks a little ominous in the northwest, guys. So yeah, we got to uh, hurry back home. But I really thought we were going to have uh, snow 
yesterday. Anyway, this was really a chance to come out today and for the first time ever to uh, test the uh, 4K on the GoPro uh, Silver, the Hero 4. I know I did uh, did one before with the uh, stereo, but this is the first one I've ever done outside. So I hope you enjoy the uh, fidelity and the uh, look of it and also recording in stereo. It's a good all right, everybody, have a uh, wonderful Monday afternoon, and uh, see you around the tubes.